hello friends welcome to another practice question of arithmetic progressions this is the this is the 17th question in the series i will strongly urge you to go back and watch the previous questions as well uh, the link to the entire playlist is down there in the description let's start solving this one this is an ncert question a very simple question but very nice and highly conceptual so the question says the sum of rupees 1000 is invested at 8% simple interest per annum Calculate the interest at the end of the first year, second year, third year, and is the sequence of interest in AP. Find the interest at the end of 30 years. Okay. So, interest at the end of 30 years. Okay. Now, the question is, what is the formula for simple interest? Simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100. This is the amount of interest. Now, if time is 1, this will be P into R upon 100 into 1. At the end of second year, it will be P into R upon 100 into 2. Okay. And so on. So, this value will keep on increasing at a certain pace and we have to find that pace. Okay. So, at the end of the first year, first year, end of the first year, it will be 1000 into r which is eight percent into t which is one upon 100 so this gets cancelled this gets cancelled the interest at the end of one year is 80 rupees the interest at the end of the second year is going to be 1000 into eight into two upon 100 so this will be 60 sorry one 60. The interest at the end of the third year is equal to 1000 into 8% into 3 years upon 100 and this is going to be 240. Okay, So every year the interest is increasing by 80 rupees. Okay, So the difference, the common difference is 80 here and the common difference is again 80 here. So if you want to find the interest at the end of 30 years, okay, the interest at the end, the simple interest in the 30th year is going to be, uh, is going to be the first term that is A plus N minus 1 into D. And the A and the D are both the same here, which is 80. So this will be 80 plus N minus 1, that is 30 minus 1 into 80 so this will be 2400 rupees this is the answer you can also find it using the formula which is p into r into t upon 100 and see if you get the same answer so the answer will be p which is 1000 into r which is 8 percent into t which is 30 upon 100 this gets cancelled with this and what you get is 2400 which is the same answer okay i hope you found the solution useful do like share comment and subscribe and in case you want me to solve any other questions for you do shoot your questions at the whatsapp number mentioned in the description till then keep working hard keep practicing hard cheers and god bless